What's going on everybody? Joe here today and this is a little bit of a state of the channel update but also I figured that I'd go ahead and do an unboxing for you all on a package from Dewa that I ended up getting. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Grab some snacks. Let's do this video. Y'all can't question Dewa about if they protect their fragrances anymore because we have a package in a package. So now that we got it open one, two, three. A book. I also received this other fragrance from my bro, Lewis. Used to be the city messiah. So, thank you. I'll cover that one in a second too. Up first we have, and also I could already tell they've improved on their packaging. I'll cover that in a second. But we have Omen Tents. This is a fragrance that's supposed to be inspired by a uh, Dior Omen Tents, the vintage formulation with the silver stem. And I already smell it. This is definitely, this is definitely going to be everything that I wanted and hoped for when I got this. I had never tried the actual vintage, vintage formulation. The formulation I tried was the 2013 version, which already was reformulated twice before. And nothing even close to what you would find walking into Macy's now, so not even close. This is super sexy. You're getting that iris, that super buttery iris. For those who don't know, Dior Almond Tense is like this buttery kind of chocolate, little hint of vanilla, vetiver, lavender iris fragrance that's just amazing and sex in a bottle, if you will. But this, I'm looking forward to trying this. So far, it's definitely lived up to what I was hoping it would be. But let's talk about this packaging really quick because do it now add a magnetic presentation, some styrofoam for protection, they're double packaging their stuff to make sure that nothing happens. Just a year ago, this was the presentation. Paper, kind of flimsy, nothing really. See, even this is coming out. So the fact that they, you know, they, they're improving, which any company who's grows through the times would, but it's good to see that I think even the boxes are bigger. So overall, great job so far by doing. You hit it out the park with your packaging. You hit it out the park with Omen Tense. Next we have, Packer 001 and prepped by Agent 006. They do this now for like quality control too. So this way if you have any issues, you know they have an idea who who did the thing. We have Dark Casino Elixir, which this one is supposed to be like Casino Elixir, which is probably the most complimented fragrance I ever had. And so this is like, I'm assuming gonna be a darker version. Yeah. I used all of my Casino Elixir last year before I moved up here. And this, yes. So there's going to be a little bit more saffron. A more rich version of the Ambergris. A little bit nutty. There's like some sort of nutty accord. But for those who don't know what this is supposed to be this is basically going to be what you would get if you were to make something like a baccarat rouge 540 with a creed aventus and then you add a lot more spice into it that's kind of what you're getting out of this really sexy stuff oh um, yeah this is i'm glad to have something like this back in my collection <laughs> let's just say Intermission snack time, un momento, por favor. Next, if this is what I think this is, which it should be, because I only ordered three from here. This fragrance also came with this, which is a notebook. It was a limited run, and it came with a pen, wow. Awesome, thank you, Dua. But, notebook, nothing crazy, but very effective right now because I've got a lot of things going on and it even 
It's a really nice notebook. It even has a bookmarker. So great job, Dua. Thank you. I am going to put this to good use in these next couple of weeks. This is voluptuous. This is brand new. One of their newest, it's their more recent release. This is an original. This isn't inspired by anything or smells like anything. At least from the initial thing, this is an original Dua. Off the bat, this is extremely bright. This is fresh. What you're gonna get out of this, you're gonna get a little bit of like this bright citrus beginning with a little bit of wood, some creaminess also too at the same time. Don't really know if this is like vanilla in here. Definitely has Gaiac wood, some black currant going on in the mix of it. Kind of herbally green. And there's Pettigrain. There's definitely Pettigrain because this thing is brightening up too. And I know from dealing with like Flagship and Mosaic from Imaginary Authors. Yeah, Pettigrain, Citrus. And apparently the citrus oils are like really limited in this one. So the runs or the amount of production won't be as vast. So if this is something that you may want to try, get it now. It came with a notebook. So might as well get a two for one, right? But this is really nice. I do like this. It's called Voluptuous. Not sure if I said the name, but it's good. It's a nice citrus woody aromatic fragrance, basically. It lives up to that. Most times, aromatic woody citrus fragrances don't really, you know, it's either aromatic or it's not all that citrus or it's not that much wood. This one hit that nail on the head with it. It's pretty good. Last but not least, we have this one that I got from Luis. I tried a pineapple express for this, but that's because Duo also has one now, which is like pineapple express with like almost smelling like more like a Ventus like. So pineapple express for those who don't know was more of like a, it was a weed fragrance. Basically it was a heavy cannabis fragrance. So now imagine that with the Ventus. Yeah. Yeah. So this is very blue. This is kind of smelling like what you would get if you were to mix something like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue or Light Blue Extreme or Intense or whatever they call it with Baccarat 540, just kind of sweet, little like burnt sugar, cotton candy vibe. A little citrus, but I like it. Solid. Another good one for the summer. Definitely going to get a little bit of run, especially now that I'm here in the city doing some things. So it was worth it, especially again, since I kind of wanted to upgrade anyways and get the new, uh, the new Pineapple Express. And Lewis is my bro. So I appreciate you. Thank you for the swap. There you have it. That's just a mini haul vid, just something so I can make some content for you all. I'm currently waiting for some packages to come in. And in the meantime of that, I'm starting to have to do some traveling again and just do other things also that I have in the works. But I do have more packages coming, more designer stuff coming, more niche stuff coming, few indies coming. but. A lot more designer and niche is on the way. Just bear with me as I'm juggling these and a few other things in my life. <laughs> but I will be taking you all along this unaverage ride. These are my unaverage thoughts. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, my name's Joe. I'll see you all later.